Okay, Shopper's Night below. That's the companion. I've been like going past him like 10 times already. <laughs> so, I'm around wondering where is the companion? Well, you should look look around. Use those eyes. Hands off, or I will gut you like the rest. What? Never seen an assassin get put out of work before. You? You're not one of these third-rate assassins, I can tell. But if you or anyone else puts a hand on me, I'm answering with my axes. I've been cutting down these mercenaries for the better part of the day. I'm guessing my target knows I'm on to her and has started sending them my way. My associate, Horn Orenvi, might know something about it, but I can't bring this heat to him. More like gather information, and if you're offering, I can pay you. Harn usually holds court at the Outlaw's Refuge. He'll be the only one there with bodyguards. Ask him if Rhaenyla Treveri's been through recently. Got it? Fair warning. Harn might ask you for a favor in return for information. I can pay you back, but you don't get paid until I get paid. And I don't get paid until I find Rhaenyla. Make sure you get something good. I'll find you after you're done. Well, make it quick, before more of those mercenaries decide to show up. I just can't figure out where I slipped up. Rhaenyla shouldn't know I was after her. My catches never do. Targets. Bounties. Got fishing on the mind, I suppose. I was planning a trip when I got put on this job. High priority and the pay was nothing I could pass up. Lucky for the fish. <laughs> I'm a mercenary. Thanks Bounty for the fish. Assassin, whatever gets me paid. Rainilla stole something. Was told I'd know it when I saw it. Research notes to try and gain favor with some rival Telvani magister, maybe. Tale as old as time in these parts. I think so. I don't know. I was handed the job by my job broker. He let slip that Rainilla used to work for the client, but I didn't stick around to hear much else. It is a time-sensitive job, and I was told to stop Rainilla at any cost. Thought it'd be better to get on her trail sooner rather than later. I don't need to know all the fancy details and motivations. I just need to know enough to get paid. He's one of Necrom's only crime lords, big fish in a small pond, and he knows everybody, so I am certain he knows Rainilla. I've worked for him before. We're not on bad terms, but I wouldn't go to him if I had any other choice. He's chatty. Too friendly for my taste. Lures people in just so he can get them under his thumb and in his debt. Last time we did business, we didn't see eye to eye on something. Let's leave it at that. What? My story? I tell you to make it quick, and that's what you decide to ask me? Try again, or get moving. And listen, don't mention me to Harn. It probably won't do you any favors. Uh. Please, Harn, they're not just flowers, they're- Surely a man of your talents can grow more. Now, move. Others wait in need of my counsel. <laughs> Your face isn't familiar to me, but I'd know that look anywhere. You want something from me. Information, probably. Well, what is it you're looking for? I wonder if this guy is Kamuna Tong member. Rainilla Treviri. Really? I may know something about her. Perhaps you can enlighten me on why it is you're seeking her. All right, don't get so touchy, Fla. Rainilla was through recently. I can tell you what I know, but not without a favor in return. Why don't you deliver these red flowers I just gathered to some dear friends of mine? Sharp as night. I like that lizard, and I hear I'm not the only one. That's useful information, Fla. I'll tell you what you want to know. Rainilla was through recently. She sought out Deredrian, a fence who specializes in moving specialty items. She keeps a room in town. I'll mark it on your map. Careful, though. 
Deredrian and Rhaenyla were old friends, but they fell out some time ago. Asking after one might cause the other to be very... sharp with her answers. If you have further business with me, get right to it. If you don't, you're blocking my view. Oh, this. I got too chummy with a certain Argonian associate of mine. Ah. All I did was put a hand on his shoulder to get his attention. Apparently, it was the wrong move. He let me know with a nasty swipe of his claws. Can't say I blame him. I've attacked people for far less. I haven't seen this associate of mine for quite some time. Pity. I'd like to thank him properly <laughs> okay. for what he did. No, just thank him. This scar gives me a subtle air of menace that has done wonders for my business. I don't hold it against him. But the same can't be said for my bodyguards. So I suppose it's for the best that he keeps his distance. Uh -huh. Kuka hoitaa sen firman kriisiä ja johtamisen, kun toimari hukku paatin mukana? Yli, ylipäätään niin kuin toi laulaminen ei onnistu. Mulla on sen verran, sen verran kuitenkin niin kuin, ää, nää, niin kuin hengitystiet tuo, hey. tukossa, että en harrasta Tuo myöskään laulamista. Is this Doredrian's place? Seems like a wanted woman. Whoever she... Blah, rock meth. Makes me wish I was born without nostrils. Can't understand how anyone drinks the stuff. Okay, see, so she's a postmer, probably. Let me see that letter. So, Rainilla came by, pestering this Doredrian for help. Why? Great. Well, maybe they patched things up and Dredrian went to go help her. Though that doesn't explain why she'd leave behind a note that says exactly where Be she's better gone. One. Especially that, that, if that she's trying to hide from this reformer that Rainilla mentioned. Ah, Bandy. Maybe. My job broker told me to track down Rinilla and take back what she stole for an important client. He didn't give other details, and that's usually fine with me. No memory of my past makes no answers an easy pill for me to swallow. I woke up a few years back in the middle of Valenwood with a nasty headache and no memory except my name. Interesting. Hmm. But that doesn't have anything to do with the job. Let's get to that campsite. I'll scout ahead and see if we can take Rainilla by surprise. Great. If all goes well, then we can both get paid and go our separate ways, I guess. I already told you most everything I know. I came to in Valenwood, middle of nowhere, blood on my claws. Someone was screaming. Didn't see who. My head felt like it was split in half, so they got away. Well, I was in the middle of the forest. Had to hunt and track, so I didn't starve to death. At one point, I started heading towards this huge tree in the distance. Elden Root. Civilization. Sometimes, I wonder if I should have just stayed in the woods. Sure, a bit. Look, I didn't know if I'd killed someone or someone had tried to kill me. I kept my head down, took any job to get by, and now I guess I'm here. If someone somewhere cares I'm gone, they're keeping awfully quiet about it. Either nobody misses me enough to go looking for me, or I was a loner before, just like I'm a loner now. I'm not trying to find answers on my past. You shouldn't either. I scouted ahead. That campsite is crawling with the mercenaries that attacked me. Seems like they're searching or waiting for something. But that got me thinking. Why would those mercenaries be after both me and Rainilla? I thought about that on the way over, too. 
If Rhaenyla could afford to hire mercenaries, she wouldn't be desperate for Deredrian's help like she was in that note we found, right? Some that campsite is the only lead we have on finding Rhaenyla. If we can get there, maybe we can find something to keep us on her trail. I'm not used to looking out for others. Can you handle yourself if we run into trouble? Hostilities ended. Now, stay ready, all right? Let it sit with you. Novel erudition always makes me heady. Wait. Those lanterns. This is Rainilla's signal? I think I've seen it before. Stay ready, all right? I was a beatbox there. Yeah, see that? It's so yeah, hyvä. Hyvä taito. Kannattaa harjoitella tosiaan kaikenlaista. Se on hyvä, hyvä taito osata Okei. Okay. So we are once again having the crouching game. Find the trade over there. So we are going up here. And then here. Here's the couple dead bodies. Okay. Teredrien. She was a bosmer. I knew it. Welcome to the operation. Any and all past involvement with training lasso, of course, forgiven. Meet you outside Necrom. However, if sharp as night crosses your path, abandon all the directives and predators. He's capture. They want to capture the lizard. After Rhaenyla. The reformer. Kaks se puoli kuukautta. Sitten sulla on pakko olla lahjoja, jos oot kahdessa puolessa kuukaudessa saat niinku... Pääset, pääset niinku hyväks siinä. Tietysti well, niin, jos olet tehnyt jotain samanlaistakin, niin Rhaenyla, se on... It doesn't seem like she did a very good job. And no other sign of Rhaenyla or the one she was traveling with. What are those notes? What did you find out? The trade team betrayed Rhaenyla. She sold her out to, to the reformer and left American missionaries to campsite. Right. She threw in with the reformer who told her to prioritize my capture over Rhaenyla's? What? And he's the one who hired me without knowing it. This is the last time I ever find work through a job broker. <laughs> yeah. No, but we can piece it together. The fence moving specialty items, the two lantern signal, the list of operatives, this person called Dim, who the reformer wants back alive. Rainilla isn't traveling alone with some trinket. She's freeing a slave. I don't want uh, to think about right now. Twin lamps. This can't be all there is. Ah. There has to be someone who can give us answers. There was another name I saw, Mevi, in Old Isra, right? That's not far. If we can find her, maybe she could tell us more. Yeah, so basically, Twin Lamps was an organization in Elder Scrolls 3 that was freeing slaves. So there, there, there it was. Two lamps. Twin lamps. See that? Two lanterns. That's got to be Mevi. Sharp as night. By Azura, after all these years, is it really you? I was afraid you'd say something like that. I don't know you, and I've never met Sharp. But the way my Rainilla spoke of him, I'd recognize him anywhere. Are you one of her connections? 
Have you been watching over him all this time? Did he finally remember Rainilla? The reformer uses experimental magic on his slaves. Uh huh. Rainilla didn't understand the process, and when she excised it from Sharp to free him, it tore something from him. His memories, she thought. Rainilla never forgave herself for what happened. She put herself on assignment. She's freeing another from the reformer. I haven't heard from her, but that's how these things often go. Forgive me. It's only just occurred to me, but if Sharp has no memories of Rainilla, how did you find me? What? Deredrian? No, Rainilla needed her help to find the smuggler's tunnels in Gorn. She'd arranged for a boat to take them to safety. If it's just the two of them in those tunnels, I need to get to her. Please, can you help? Gorn is, is the island of the crazy people. So why not? Perfect location for the sa sla secret slaves trade, trade or something. You two go on ahead. I need to gather Rainilla's research and prepare to travel light for a while. We always knew this day might come. Thankfully, we always tried to remain ready for just such an occasion. Uh, she, she might not be a Telvani. Uh, I mean, these are Indoril colors. I can spare a moment to tell you what I know. But after, we really should get moving to Gorn. She is my wife. Okay, she's Sharp her, is the her reason we wife. Met, actually. She needed forged documents for his new identity. I'd never done anything like that before, but she convinced me. Pity he didn't get to use the forgeries. But some good came of it, at least. It is. She told me he had ambitious ideals that challenged the traditions of House Telvani. Okay. But when she Her witnessed the cost of those ideals firsthand, she had a change of heart. Breaking ties wasn't enough. She started freeing his slaves. When she lets me, I'm skilled in forgeries and logistics, but I've never done field work, not like her. It's dangerous work and, well, she's always been very protective of me. She has an informal web of operatives across Tamriel focused on freeing slaves. She relies heavily on favors and appealing to people's better nature. It's a struggle, to be sure. I think Rainilla takes on a lot more than she can bear. Rainilla can tell you more when we find her. The way she speaks of him, it's like she's worrying after an old friend. She liked to imagine that he ended up living a peaceful life as a fisherman somewhere. He was feral when she excised him from the reformer's control. She had no choice but to subdue him. She delivered him to Deredrian at an old safe site in Valenwood. He was supposed to go to Black Marsh from there, but things didn't go as planned. Deredrian put a hand on Sharp to shake him awake, and he nearly clawed her face off. She said she barely escaped with her life. I can't blame Sharp. And Rainilla felt the same. He must have reacted in fear, that's all. No, Deredrian was furious. Rainilla didn't know such a thing would happen, but that didn't seem to matter to Deredrian. She had complained that Rainilla wasn't paying her enough anyway. I'm just sad it ended this way for her. He's a rich and powerful Telvani magister okay. who hides behind his moniker and keeps the particulars of his research close to his chest. He practices horrible experiments on his slaves. Somehow, he thinks his work is going to end slavery in Tamriel. Telvan uh, experimenting magic on slaves. This is so uh, Castel Xur like, like story. Rainilla says he uses some experimental metal to create a sort of link between him and his subjects. What? I've blocked out most of the details, but I do know that Sharp was the reformer's favorite. Sharp's resistance always captivated the reformer. It was as if perfecting that link and conquering Sharp's will was his greatest trial. Precisely. After that happened to Sharp, Rainilla studied the vile process and learned how to safely deattune those freed after him. She'll be thrilled to see him again. I just know it. She might even know how to restore yes. his memories. She's the. Sharp 
Rainilla would say that you are under no obligation to help. But please. I'm on my way. Where are these smugglers' tunnels you mentioned? I think there's a secret entrance in the southwest tunnels. I'll follow shortly. Please, hurry. Mutta että joo, tää on tosiaan niin kuin MMO-peli. Yks, oliks tää vi, viidenneks suosituin MMO-peli maailmassa? MMO-RPG siis. I could seek help in Necron, or... Are you there? Tässä on aika paljon brittinäyttelijöitä, ääninäyttelijöitä. Drab attire, sharpened blades, a dangerous glint in the eye. An adventurer, I take it? Yep. I could use someone with your particular skill set. Let's speak for a moment. I promise to make it worth your while. What do you need? He'll have helped The it. island of Gorn is home to a reclusive portal mage by the name of Dreamus. His research could further my ascension within House Telvani. I could use a skilled hand to aid me while I procure these findings. Nonsense! Oh, there is something to be said about the sharing of knowledge and the marketplace of ideas, but that's neither here nor there. Let's just say there is a tidy sum to be earned by an adventurer who can handle a delicate task. Wonderful! I had a good feeling about you. <laughs> no, sorry, I prepared this boat boat to take yeah. us up to the island. We'll be a bit snug, but it'll do. And do be on guard. Tervetuloa kaikki mukaan. The island isn't the most welcoming of places. Gorn belongs to House Inderil, as you'll see when we reach their sprawling estate. I've heard they formerly used the island to house the mentally unstable and magically insane. Magically insane. Know whether it's still in use. Steel is so vulgar. I much prefer material sourcing. And I'll have you know I did plenty of research. For example, the going rate for capable mercenaries such as yourself. A tidy sum, well worth your time and effort. You should know that you're talking yourself out of my memoir. Imagine the prestige you could gain in Telvani lands for being the loyal and capable servant to an esteemed mage. Ah, uh, of course. <laughs> A few too many syllables, I suppose. How about rise instead? Imagine a ladder. As a Telvani spell, right? I must prove my skill and expertise each time I wish to go up a proverbial rung. I hope to speed my climb. At his peak, Dranus was a Telvani master unmatched in portal magic. It's been ages since he's published uh, thanks for any joining. research, but he must still be tinkering away. I'm Kupan certain we can find a few pages lying about the island. Hello. You're here after all. I was about to reel in this piece of my past without you. I thought maybe you decided to move on. This is far beyond what I hired you for, isn't it? Maybe you're like me and you never pass up a payday. But I probably wouldn't even have stopped to help someone like me in the first place. Gorn is packed to the brim with mad wizards. Doesn't make it too different from the rest of the peninsula, but I've heard worse things have moved in recently. I guess what I'm saying is I'll watch your back in there so long as you're watching mine. Let's let's check if there's like any signs of the sixth house in this island. <laughs> Fine trainilla. So okay, so this is basically a dungeon over here. Nothing, nothing more interesting. Feels like a Balamora, but but more livid, and there's like flying things all over. Golden Saints. Why in oblivion is Gorn besieged by Daedra? Adventurer, we should find Dranus. Quickly. Ah, another over-eager pupil seeking to profit from my efforts. Could I, I instead interest you in some fungal tea? Visitors. 
Why, I was starting to get lonely. <laughs> Two warring legions of Daedra make for poor company, you know. Yo, yo, kulama, kulama boy. You looks like one of the givens by the curl of his lip. But you're a fresh face. What can I do for you? Did he now? Well, most Telvanni try to steal from the best. But Garallo erred in coming to Gorn. Don't you know the nursery rhyme? Two bantam guas in an aelid's den, each came in one piece and left in ten. You'd better turn around now. <laughs> nice, <laughs> nice, nice story. You're welcome to my notes. They're scattered around. If you want to round them up, look for a glow. A little spell to help in case I needed to find them again. And ever so pretty. But he's he's crazy. Friends from the Shivering he's Isles definitely crazy. Like it. Shivering Island. Uh. My gift for teleportation magic is just that. A gift. From a Daedra of Sheogorath's realm named Strang. In exchange, I let him and a few legions of his friends come here to revel in the madness of the asylum's insane mages. Yeah, I'll check the store page. Oh, Strath's lieutenants likely have my notes. They enjoy the way my thoughts unravel on the page. Perhaps you will, too. But let me give you two words of advice. First, what Garalo wants isn't worth the price. And second, the flatulence. Uh-huh. Flatulence. My patron. The little finger of the right hand of Sheogorath, the Prince of Madness himself. All my facility with teleportation magic I owe to Strath. He taught me how to break my brain in all the right ways. Okay, he's, he's Sheogorath Kist. Oh no. The research I did in teleportation was all my own. He only set me on the right path, gave me a little trinket to help light the way. But I shouldn't go on about Strath's secrets. If you wish to know more, just read my notes. Oh, Strath's lieutenants likely have my notes. They enjoy the way my thoughts unravel on the page. Perhaps you will, too. But let me give you two words of advice. First, what Garalo wants isn't worth the price. And second, a flatulence. Not much of a listener, are you? Adorable. Gorn is an asylum for the mentally infirm. If you're a mortal, if you're a Daedra sworn to the Prince of Madness, it's a buffet, an opulent feast ripe for the taking. Feasting, bathing, however you like to think of it. But yes, they slake their appetites with the inmates here. And me, too. Strath saw to that. Not all of them have the best table manners, of course. They are feuding with one another. You know how it is with eternal beings. He stole my prisoner. She gutted my vassal. He is an embodiment of my sovereign's mania. She's an avatar for Sheogorath's dementia. And then the blades come out. Rather tiresome, I must admit. Good luck, by which I mean I hope your deaths are painless. Mostly. Okay. Yep, he's crazy. Uh, a hunt it is. Adventure. Scour the island for glowing notes. Meet me in the middle of the estate once you have them. Drainus wasn't quite what I'd imagined. He didn't even seem the slightest bit bothered by the veritable Daedric war going on behind him. 
Regardless, we're here for research, not feuding Daedra. The sooner we find it, the better. A great mage, perhaps even a Telvanni master. Though if you go too long without proving your magical prowess, people start to question whether you still deserve the title. Yeah, he, he has some and scrolls. Has spent <laughs> Lose, a very definitely. Long time here on Gorn. Perhaps not the first to look, but I intend to be the first Love to succeed. Once we have that research, we can leave Drainus to his fungal teas. Search the perimeter of the estate. I'll head for the manor house in the middle. We'll meet there. Well, all his gu guards have run home. Golden safe. Okay. Ah, uh, she, she's not human. That's a golden safe. She's, she's actually dead. Oh, Telemannic Cryomancer. Who wasn't? Okay. Cryomancer wasn't really... Uh, really <laughs> thankful of, of our intervention. Red Watcher. One, one thing I, I should do is eat. Kind, kind of helps. Not, not as uh, hardcore improvements. Okay, that, that was wrong way <laughs> down. Not, not as uh, good improvements as in Valheim. But still, uh, eating eating food is uh, important in this game. Get bonuses. Jump here. Kill these people here. And tranquility. Isandar is like half half of the <laughs> crazy scientist. So apparently Telvanni uh, is like brown and blue in this DLC. That's like the motif. Or rather, color scene. scene. Yeah, I feel like developers are, have been like, okay, we can we can do different kind of levels because we trust player, and then I got lost in the simplest possible simplest possible levels. This way. Uh, 
Uh, okay. It's one of one one of those. What? Asander is down. Ouch. That, that this is not fun. Okay, let's fight in the fire then. What a shell. Crowd control. Damn it. Strikes actually heal me as well. So.
for the tank skill line. I had those tank skills which are helping a lot in this situation. Finally. Ah. With, a, with a little more verse character, this has good could have been like really bad bad fight for me. Okay. Prism. Ah, there you are. Please tell me your search was successful, adventurer. I hope you found everything I'm looking for. The sooner I can leave this place behind, the better. Joo, mä kans kattelin, että oliko se suunniteltu 1500 metriin sukeltava ja muistelisin koulusta lukeneeni, että, että niinku Titanic on hiuk hiukkasen verran syvemmällä. Excellent. Let's take a look. Hmm. This can't be right. It's little more than a personal journal. There's barely anything worth publishing. And what's this about a prism? Oh, how interesting. I've got an idea, adventurer. Dradus writes that he turned the manor's rotunda into a magical conduit. That would make this room the center of his work with portals. Yet there's no sign of this prism. If yep. he hid it, then it must be important. If I were a master of teleportation, I'd hide my secrets in a place only I could reach. That's it! The magical foci on the balcony above us. If we activate them, we may open a portal to Drainus's little hiding place. Oh, I'm a genius! Activate the foci above us while I conjure a portal. With any luck, we'll reveal all of Drainus's little secrets. Take note, adventurer. It takes an extremely skilled mage to effectively wield this magic. Yes, I can feel the flow of magicka. Keep going. We've almost got it. Quickly, the last focus is down here. Unlimited power. Ugh. What? How did you manage this? It seems I underestimated you. But I won't allow you to take the prism. I won't. Yep. Yari, you let him go. I just need to catch my breath. Meet me at the docks once you have his. Okay. It's time I cast you from this island. Yeah, I I shouldn't uh, be staying in his. Uh, area of attack because that's like bad idea colossally bad idea this is we can use it's time to ask you from this island Because I have these distance spells just just because I don't need to go and to the hand to hand com combat always.
Oh no, sheep. No sheep, no sheep. Ouch. So basically stun, stun locking is, is a thing, thing that this boss might do. You've succeeded where all my previous visitors failed. Most of them fled at the sight of the Daedra, but not you. That's impressive. I do. Well, we mustn't waste the opportunity. I beg you, don't give the prism to your mage associate. It warps you, twists you until you can understand what it shows you. I thought it a gift from Sheogora. But what it revealed, it showed me the sinews of the planes, the strings of magic threading together all existence. Oh, it showed me how to open portals to any corner of reality. But it brought me never-ending unease, maddening curiosity. I thought I could set it aside whenever I wanted, but the damage is done. I can't return to the way I was before, even if I wanted to. There's... not much of me left. Garalo Given may be a fool, but he doesn't deserve this. Warn him, please. This is his diary. What you have there is incredible, but damned. It corrupted me. It'll do the same to that given mage you're helping. It's really a boss. Did you just call me? Rinilla, I'm here. Just stay still. 
I see have slave crap. Please, see if you can help Rainella. Your sharps, friend? I had feared he spent all those years alone. But he found someone. He found you. His sister, Dimike. So close to freedom. Promise you'll help her. Take her the rest of the way, please. Help her. Uh, too late for me. Dredrian and those mercenaries made sure of that. I never wanted my Mevi to get caught up in all this. To have to run forever from the Reformer. And the others. He'll never stop until Sharp is his again. I didn't have time. There's so much I could have done. I just couldn't do it on my own. Sharp looks strong. Healthy. I'm sorry. So sorry. But glad to see him one last time. Vanilla, stay with me, love. Please. Yes, she died. Rainilla knew me. I don't remember her at all. Just give me a moment. This is a lot to happen so suddenly. Rainilla, she can't be gone. She fought so hard to protect me. What am I going to do? We were supposed to have help. I thought maybe you and Sharp, but I can see it in his eyes. He doesn't remember me, does he? He doesn't remember anything. Kaj Kujay. Elder brother. It's what I always called him. Rainilla didn't know how to properly excise him from the Reformer's attunement back then. Like the others. Like me. Deke Nujay. His little sister. I don't think we had the same parents, but that was what he called me. He was there from the day I hatched. He always said he would come back for me, help me escape. I'd given up all hope. Yeah, so basically, Argoni and Exa are clutches that uh, well, belong to different parents. So they are, they are going to hatch at the same time, but they are not uh, blood relatives. I don't know. She said something about a safe house in Silent Mire, but our final destination was somewhere deep in Black Marsh. We barely escaped Eredrian, and now rainella has gone. I don't know what I'm going to do. We were too late. I thought something might come back to me seeing Rainilla. She knew me, and now she's just gone. I don't feel any memories stirring when I look at her either. Just nothing. I gave up on finding answers about my past a long time ago. I don't understand why this had to happen now. Help her. I'm a mercenary. I don't know how to look out for someone like her. And if this reformer is as powerful and dangerous as everyone said, there's not a place in Tamriel that is going to be safe for her anyway. He's more than after me. He's obsessed with me. But that I can do something about. If I could just track him down, that's what I have to do. Find the Reformer and be his end. But you heard Rainilla. If I try to do it alone, I'll end up like her. Going after the Reformer is a different job for a different day. Hunting my hunter is going to take time and patience. For now, take your payment, and if you'd like me watching your back wherever you're headed next, send for me. I'll be there. You okay? Rainilla got you this far. I'll take you the rest of the way. And then I'm never coming back to Morrowind. Where are you taking her? You've made your path clear, Sharp. If you fail at taking out the Reformer and fall under his control again, it's better if you don't know. Sharp, please come with us. You don't have to be alone. I am not going to be alone, and I am not going to fail. Yeah. 
Okay, he left. So basically, we can now call Sharpin. Got here as quick as I could. What can I do? So, uh, shift us out. So, I think he's DPS. Physical attack, swoop, cliff razor. Why not? He can, he can have the battle axe. So now we just need uh, some good armor for him. Fungal Forge. Healing. Swoop. Oh, uh, he's uh, actually a ra uh, warden. A bit like, yeah. Ice armor. So slightly tankish. Warden. Otherwise, he has pretty basic medi medium armor. Uh, I have noticed that these company items drop uh, really f slowly. So it's like it's going to be like a bit of task to a actually get the stuff for him. Here's the guy. Well, where did that fool's portal take you? Did you recover that prism Drainus wrote about? Or at least some more of his research? Remarkable! Even at a glance I can see these are more comprehensive than the scribbles you found strewn about the island. Oh, it's a pity Drainus became so... confused. There's a shadow of his genius in these pages. What of the prism? Oh my! I hadn't dared to hope. But it seems this prism is a Daedric artifact, and a powerful one at that. This prism could accelerate my studies beyond imagining. Oh, I can't imagine Drainus was happy about parting with it. Yes, and you can't have it. Corrupts its owner? Oh, was this the cause of Drainus's deterioration? I suppose his research notes alone would serve for publication. It might be rash to expose a mind as important as mine <coughs> to the prism's affliction. I've spent years hoping for the chance to study an artifact such as this. Now, I'm not so sure. I certainly can't leave the prism here. Someone else might claim it, and my place in House Telvani. So perhaps I lock it away, or destroy it? On further consideration, I find Drainus's notes are more than enough. Even his margin scribbles have valuable insights about portal creation and transplanar travel. Uh, here, your payment. And I'll even mention your name in a footnote. The journey towards my ascension was made a little easier today. Despite the hordes of Daedra and the smell of burning fungus, I'd say this went remarkably well. Interested, are we? Of course you are. No one can spend an hour in my company and come away without an appreciation for my intellect. Well, I'm awash with brilliant ideas. It may have pointed me in the right direction. I hope to present my findings to representatives of House Telvani back in Necrom. They'll be eating out of my hands. I'll have to choose between all the offers and titles. If they ask, I'll simply say, but of course, my magister. If that old loon got results, then so can I. Soon enough, you'll hear my name from lips of strangers. I'll be remembered every time a portal is open. 
Tempting though it may be to keep it, I suppose I should just toss this wretched prism into the sea. What the? Oh! That treasure is not to be wasted on a mortal like you! Eh. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Alright. 